Hi everybody. I was going to help you with a common problem that's been happening for Realtek and ATI and AMD integrated HDMI audio output to a television in HDTV. Um, often people have been saying they're having trouble with their sound coming through the HDTV even though it's connected through HDMI. Um, and where it says down here, Realtek HDMI output, it says it is disconnected in the sound uh, section of Windows control panel. It'll say ATI, default device, possibly will be indicated, but it'll say it's disconnected, even though you have it plugged in. Uh, I ran into this issue, and I have an ATI AMD HD300 um, or actually HD3000 chipset uh, integrated in the motherboard with integrated HDMI. And I couldn't figure out how to get it to work through my TV um, despite switching drivers, uh, updating drivers, disabling Windows settings, changing things all over in Device Manager. And it actually is a very simple fix and I'll show you how to do it right now if you're having trouble with it. So what you want to do is, it's not a driver issue, so you want to restart your computer, actually. And then what you want to do is you want to go into BIOS. And if you're not familiar with BIOS, usually it's right when your computer is starting up, you want to press F1, possibly F2, possibly F9 or F10. And for mine, it's delete, which is also very common. So you want to just keep pressing the button that you think your BIOS is. And then it will say you're preparing to enter setup, like it does in the lower left-hand corner of mine. Once you enter setup, you want to go to MB Intelligent Tweaker. And then there's something called IGX Configuration. Now, most of these settings in here you don't want to mess with necessarily, unless you know what you're doing, and they're for overclocking your computer. They're fun to play with, but you might damage your uh, inner components. So don't mess around with it too much. Anyway, go to IGX Configuration, press Enter, and then you'll see where it says Onboard VGA Output Connect. Uh, you press Enter here, and most, if you've been having issues with the audio going through your HDMI cord, uh, it'll be selected under DSUB slash DVI, uh, the top one, which will by default be connected, uh, selected for some reason. What you want to do is go down to DSUB HDMI, press Enter, accept it, and then press F10, oops, wrong button, <laughs> okay, let's see here, F10, and it'll say save to CMOS and exit, so just press enter, that will save your settings, and when you restart your computer, uh, you should have your HDMI working through your audio in your TV, um, it'll say it's connected, if you go into control panel, and then into sound, uh, you can see specifically if it is connected, and you can also set that as the default device so that it will always default to the television for audio. Um, I'll give it here a second to boot up just to show you. My computer is not super fast or anything, so it might take about a minute or two. Apparently this is a pretty common issue. There's a lot of people searching on Google to try to find a fix for this. But not too many people, apparently, from what I've seen, have figured out that it's actually a BIOS issue with motherboard settings and not actually a driver issue with the ATI or Radeon or, or Realtek drivers. So now, currently, mine's connected. As you can see, it's coming through there. If you go to your control panel here, And then to sound, you will see that it's connected, it acknowledges it, and it is my default device. If you want to set it as default device, just right click it, um, and it will come up saying set as default device. Mine already is set as the default device, so I can't change it. Also, there's a little uh, blacked out on my computer, but I... Uh, possible option to set your default device right here. Um, if you want, you can test your HDMI 
and or configure the sound quality and different options. I hope that's been of help. Um, if you want, check out my other videos. They are uh, very different than this tutorial, but you might find something cool. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.